Today, the Pokemon company decided to drop some brand new information on the Crown Tundra expansion for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got information on Galarian Slowking, some new features of Raid Adventures, and a release date. Let's hop right into discussing things. So the Pokemon company gave us a ton of new information. We're going to take a look at all of it here. I've got a Pokey Jungle article pulled up, which basically goes into everything they announced. And as you can see on screen, we've got some footage from the trailer. The first thing I want to hit on is we finally got the reveal for Galarian Slowking. This is a Pokemon that we had teased in the original announcement for the Sword and Shield DLC back in January of this year. Ah, uh, January of 2020. So much we didn't know was going to happen this year. It was such a peaceful time. But now we have the full look at what this Pokemon is. And I got to be honest, I've gone through a couple different emotions as I've been looking at this guy throughout the morning. When I first saw him, I thought he was butt ugly. Uh, I just thought it was a stupid design. There really wasn't a lot going on. But now that we've seen the art, now that I've had a little bit of time to kind of deal with with what he is, I really like him. And it's my plan for the rest of the month is going to be to shiny hunt a Galarian Slowpoke so I can hopefully get this Slow King shiny once the Crown Tundra game expansion drops. Uh, I think it's the perfect Halloween Pokemon. Uh, he's got his little neck cape going down part of his body. Uh, he's got the shell, which seems to have been taken over, uh, and the jewel has moved closer to his eyes, which are also now on the shell itself. And in some of the uh, uh, gameplay images we've seen for Slowking, he's got some kind of liquid, which I hope is not snot, but it might be snot, oozing out from two of his spikes on his shell. Uh, I really like it. I think it's a cool design. I think it's very different. Um, and I think it's going to be a really nice addition to Crown Tundra. Hopefully, uh, we get some other Galarian forms in Crown Tundra like we did not get in Isle of Armor. Uh, there has been a data mine from Isle of Armor, which gave us some Crown Tundra information. I have not seen it. The only thing I've seen are a list of returning Pokemon, uh, which includes, spoilers, my guy Swampert. Um, I don't know anything else pretty much about this DLC. So the fact that they didn't reveal a lot to us in this trailer, even though I know from talking to friends that there is a lot that we have not seen, I think is uh, it's pretty promising. The next thing we're going to discuss is that we got a release date. It is October 22nd is the release of the Crown Tundra. Uh, that's a little bit far. I was kind of hoping for October 16th, just based on when we got this trailer. But October 22nd gives us about a month to kind of look forward to this drop. Um, at the same time as announcing the release date, they also announced that they're going to be redistributing the special cap wearing Pikachus, Ash's Pikachus. Uh, beginning today, you can download two of them. You can download the Kanto Ash Cap, and you can also download the World Ash Cap. Uh, so if you head over to Cerebi or any website that covers Pokemon news, you can probably find the codes to get those guys now. And there's also going to be set release times throughout the next month or so where you can get every single one of these Pikachus. So a pretty cool gift. Uh, we were able to get a lot of these Ash Hat Pikachus back in sun, in the Sun and Moon games. Uh, and for those of you who didn't get them, for those of you who haven't brought those Pikachus over from the old games to the new ones, this is just a new way to get it, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the features that the Crown Tundra talked about is the Raid Dens. Now, we already knew that you're going to be able to encounter all of the old legendary Pokemon, pretty much every single one, from all of Pokemon history, you're going to be able to catch them, and most of them are probably able to be shiny hunted as well. We learned about the mechanics of how you're going to be able to encounter them. These are called raid adventures. Uh, in these, you have to choose from a select set of rental Pokemon, and then you go through a mini game to go through the underground dens to encounter these legendaries. There's also a mode in this where you basically keep battling with your friends until you're defeated. So I like that. It's a bit of a... Um, bit of a challenge. Uh, the rental Pokemon is a little, little suspect, at least in my opinion. I am never a fan of when they use rental Pokemon. I wasn't a fan of it in the Battle Frontiers in Hoenn and Sinnoh, and I'm not exactly a fan of rentals here. I don't know. To me, it just kind of takes away from the spirit of Pokemon, which is taking on this challenge with a team that you've raised yourself. Rental Pokemon, it's very hard to to create a bond with those Pokemon, and that's something that when I play Pokemon games, I really enjoy. But 
it is going to make it more difficult. Game Freak is going to be able to set which Pokemon you can and can't use, what their stats are, what their move sets are, abilities, etc. Uh, so it's going to add a bit of challenge and it's probably also going to encourage us to do this mode with our friends because we're going to need to work together. I assume there's going to be CPU characters you can also do these raids with. Um, and I would assume that it'll be more difficult if you do it with CPUs. So this does encourage multiplayer as well. We're going to have to have some raid nights on the Vibrary or Dynamax discords. Hopefully, I think that would be a really fun time. The next thing that we learned about is uh, that the Mel Metal, uh, that you, you're able to receive a Mel Metal uh, for using Pokemon Go with Pokemon Home. That's something that was announced connectivity finally with Pokemon Go. So you'll be able to transfer all your Pokemon in. And this Mel Metal that you get will be able to Gigantamax. So if you guys didn't know, when Sword and Shield were data mined when they first came out, we learned that Mel Metal does have a G-Max form. We had never been able to officially get it until this DLC. So now once you have that Mel Metal, you'll be able to bring it in from Pokemon Home into Pokemon Sword and Shield. G max it and get what is really a pretty awesome design. And for me, it's cool because it's the first time that I'm going to be able to get a Mel Metal. I've I never did the feature in Pokemon Go where you unlocked the special box and for a limited amount of time, you're able to catch a lot of Meltan. It just felt very daunting because I believe you had to catch like four. You had to get enough Melt Mel, Meltan to get 400 candy and then you were able to transfer that and evolve him. Um, and it was always a very overwhelming thing for me, so I never ended up doing it. Now, that's a lot of the big uh, information that we got from the trailer. Some other things that we got uh, that don't really have to do with the gameplay of Crown Tundra is that, like I predicted months ago on Discord with my friends, uh, they're going to be repackaging Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield uh, with the DLC, so with Isle of Armor and with Crown Tundra, and going to be releasing a physical version of both. They're going to be coming out on November 6th, so if you're someone who didn't get the DLC, or if you're someone who didn't pick up Sword and Shield, but you want to, and you want to get all of the content, that's going to be available for you next month. The covers, the box arts, aren't the best. They're basically just under, like, they're, they just add the Crown Tundra uh, DLC art to the bottom and then they include some of the art from the first copies of the game on top. It's a little lazily put together. I would have preferred a much nicer cover, maybe a redone cover, something incorporating both the DLC and the main game. Unfortunately, that's not what we're going to get here unless this is just a placeholder cover, which it's entirely possible. Uh, as someone who kind of feels a need to collect all of the different physical versions of the Pokemon games, I have every single 3DS one. I'm working on getting copies of every single DS game. I've almost got most of them. Um, and I've got Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, Sword and Shield. I feel a bit of a desire to pick these up, even though we don't know the price yet. I'm assuming it's just going to be $59.99 basic Switch title price, even though that might piss off some people in the Pokemon community. Who cares? Uh... I feel the need to get them, but the cover art is just so bad that it's like, why would I even put my money towards this? Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel worth it. Uh, another thing we got is we got a lot of screenshots and a lot of information on what Crown Tundra looks like. Now, of course, there was a data mine a couple months ago, like I mentioned before, there we, and in it, we got the whole map of Crown Tundra. We got how big it is, all of that. I'm not going to talk about that here, but we did get to see some more screenshots, some more gameplay. We got to see some of the legendary birds flying through the Crown Tundra, which is absolutely beautiful. I am so much more excited for Crown Tundra than I was for Isle of Armor, and it mostly comes from aesthetic things. I love the winter and the fall. I love this kind of snowy environment in games. I'm really excited to see what the music sounds like in this area. It's going to be a great time. If you're excited for Crown Tundra as much as I am, let me know down in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get some more Crown Tundra news videos in the future. I have a feeling we're going to get one more trailer and it might reveal some more things about the Crown Tundra, maybe about Calyrex that we don't already know. And yeah, I'll just leave it with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu uh, discussion video about the Crown Tundra news and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.